بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله continuing on in our study of Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi Allah يرحمه his treaties هذا هي دعوتنا وعقيدة وعقيدتنا that this is our call and this is our creed which in fact is the call to the da'wah of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. As many of our predecessors have written, like Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah in his Aqidah to Wasatiyah and, and Aqidah to Tedmuriyah, Wahamawiyah, and many of the books where the Salaf of this Ummah, preceding Shaykh, Shaykh al-Islam, all the way back to the Salaf, wrote treatises explaining their creed and its agreeance with the creed of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah and explaining the creed of Ahlul Sunnah. The Imam said, we reached the port portion of the treaties, we're <clears throat> wrapping up the treaties, and may Allah bless it with to be a benefit to us. The Imam said, Nara hadahi jama'at al mu'asira al mutakathira sababan li firqat al muslimin wa id'afihim. Imam Muqbil, rahmatullah alayhi, he said, and we believe that the various many groups is one of the reasons for dividing the Muslims and their weakness. And that this was not a part of the practice of the Salaf of this Ummah. The Salaf of this Ummah Rahimahumullah Jami'an were hadith or they were vigilant in preserving the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Jama'ah upholding the creed and the minhaj or the methodology of the ulama of their time and those who preceded them up to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. That that is the, the, the creed and that is where the where the minhaj and the methodology is established from those sources, the divine sources. The Qur'an, which is the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal, and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is also revelation and the understanding, or with the understanding of the, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And as Islam in history developed and time came to pass, there was the need for confronting new uh, innovations in the religion, where you had new groups appearing with new ideologies, taken foreign ideologies from outside of Islam or things that were in accordance with their desires, which caused firqa, which caused uh, division with the ummah, because people began to believe certain innovative practices and innovative ideologies, such as those concepts that the Asha'ira and other groups who made ta'wil or distorted the divine attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal. So with that, then the Salaf of this Ummah had to deal and react towards those newly invaded, uh, invented matters by reviving the Sunnah and also 
studying and making their argumentation more sophisticated and more appealing and based upon Burhan, you know, evidence to deal with those newly invented matters such as the Qadriya and their ideology, the Khawarij and their ideology, the Shia and their ideology. And then those later groups like the uh, the uh, Jahmiya and the Mu'tazila and then the Asha'ira and all those other groups that shortly evolve from those same uh, same sources, the same sources and the same people and ideologues who held those various deviant beliefs that they evolve one from another. But Islam calls us to be one. And this is what Sheikh Muqbil, Allah was ever vigilant in calling to. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, and the Sheikh mentioned this ayat, showing us the importance of that of loving for the sake of Allah and not loving based upon partisanship or hizbiya or div divisiveness or sectarianism. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ إنما وليكم الله ورسوله والذين آمنوا والذين آمنوا والذين آمنوا الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وهم راكعون. Allah subhanahu wa taala says in Surah Al-Maida, verily your protector or supporter is Allah and His messenger and those who believe. Those who establish the prayer and pay the zakat and they are those who prostrate, meaning they prostrate before their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Ahli Iman. Those are sifat of Ahli Iman. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah, Alif Lam Mim, Thalik Al-Kitab Allah Rayba Fi, Hudin Lil Muttaqeen, Alladheena Yu'minuna Bil الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةُ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after Alif Lam Mim, He says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِي That is a book in which there is no doubt. هُدِنْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ And it is a guidance for those who are, uh, who are pious. هُدِنْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Then Allah describes who are these pious people. Who are these muttaqeen? They are the ones who believe in the unseen. And they establish the prayer. And from what we have provided for them, because Allah gives you your risk, then they spend it in His cause. Those are the characteristics of Ahl Iman. They believe in the ghayb. And they believe in the unseen. They believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. They believe in His book. They have Iman. They believe in His, his messengers and the Malaika. And the Qadr. And the Day of Judgment. This is Ahl Iman. And they establish the prayer. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. In this ayat, as the Shaykh mentions, that this ayat shows us that Ahli Iman, Ahla Sunnah, that their protector is Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Shahid here, in mentioning this verse, the point of mentioning this verse, as the Shaykh says, Walasna. نَدْعُوا جَمَاعًا مِنْ جَمَاعَاتِ إِلَىٰ أَنْ تَتْرُكْ أَرَاءَهَا لِأَرَاءَ الْجَمَاعَةَ الْأُخْرَىٰ وَلَكِنَّنَا نَقُولْ لِتُتَرَّقْ 
لتترك جماعات كلها أراها وتحتكم إلى كتاب الله عز وجل وسنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كما قال تعالى وما اختلفتم فيه من شيء فحكمه إلى الله The Sheikh said or perhaps this is actually not from Sheikh Mukhbul but this is the one explaining he says that we do not call from one group to another group and to leave the the view or opinion for the opinions and views of of other groups however we say that leaving all of the groups and their ideologies uh for the book of Allah and the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as Allah the almighty said and you did not differ in it with regards to anything or anything in, in which you differed then the ruling or the judgment is for Allah leave the hukmu hukmu for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So the point of this ayah, the, the first ayah that we mentioned is that loving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this is what brings izzah to the ummah and not his being, not to your group, not to your imam, not to your sect. But in fact that you do things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you leave off things out of love for Allah Azza wa Jal, those things he has prohibited, and that you are one ummah, and you are not divided, but rather you are united based on kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and shortly in the next sitting we'll mention that and mention some of the beautiful and beneficial speech of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah with regard to this, and some of the other things Imam Muqbil Rahmatullah said, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.